Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and tonight's going to be a little bit different. Um, this is just going to be a quick rundown, a quick shout out, quick thank you, and how I did this. Um, <clears throat> okay, so as you know, or you might not know, I have got a Samsung Galaxy S8 phone. Okay, so there it is. It's awesome. It's amazing. And uh, the S9 has just came out, and hopefully that's that's in the cards. Um, I got my phone from work, so it's it's really cool that like I'm able to get this and do all the cool stuff that I'm doing here. So um, one of the cool things that happened was during the time that I got this, Samsung was doing a promotion that said, "Hey, you get a free Gear VR powered by Oculus." when you get this phone. I said, cool, all right. So it came with a controller and it came with the Oculus gear and that's what I've been doing my uh, my VR stuff on. Now, um, as you know, I like to play games on Steam and um, the Steam has a section called Steam VR. Now, there's a problem with this because Steam VR in the Steam client requires that you have an Oculus or an HTC or a Vive, something powerful, right? I got a hold of a um, Oculus from um, Creativeverse team. Uh, the guys over at Playful. They actually sent me one, and I got to play with it, and it was amazing. But my power, my the, the power of the laptop was not strong enough. I, it literally told me, "You cannot run this." I've got a very powerful laptop. What? Never mind. Long story short, I ended up sending that back off, and um, I had to find some way to play Steam games on um, on my my version of the Oculus or my VR gear. So along came this little application called Riftcat, and in its early days, uh, like I could not get it to run whatsoever. Riftcat um, just recently has had a few updates and I actually got it to run. In order to get it to run, you must download this thing called V-Ridge onto your phone. Um, by the way, links for all these things are going to be in the description down below. Um, last night, I actually got Riftcat to work properly. And what I did is I ended up turning all of its services and all of its applications to run strictly on the graphics card of my Lenovo Y70 laptop. It has an NVIDIA GeForce GTX graphics card inside of it. I, I might be talking gibberish to you guys, but I just wanted to let you know that I was able to get it to work. And today I threw a shout out over to these guys, Orbis. And the reason I shouted out Orbis and said, hey, what's going on? Can I can I get a free key? Is because this is a VR MMORPG. Virtual real. Oh, excuse me. Hold on. Hmm. Oh goodness. Virtual reality multi or massive multiplayer online role playing game. <laughs> yes. Um, so, like, Warcraft, um, EverQuest, um, any kind of RPG that you could think of that's online, they went and made a virtual reality version of it. And I was like, I gotta play this. I looked at the requirements and it said that you were required to have um, an Oculus Rift or a Vive or an HTC and then the hand controllers, right? So, using my knowledge of all these things that I've, I've listed up above, I went and tried to get it to work and sure enough, they sent me a key and they said, hey, we'd be interested to know if you got it to work and all this good stuff. So, without further ado, I'm going to turn on my V-Ridge onto my phone. V-Ridge is now running, as you can see right there. It's already got the 3D environment going. I'm going to turn on my Rift Cat, which should be right here. And it is going to make a connection just as soon as it loads up. Give me one second, one second, hold on. This is also why I don't edit anything, and this is also why I'm probably going to have a huge demo fail. If you don't know what demo fail is, uh, ugh. All right, I'm going to turn the quality down on the actual VR. Oh gosh, unlock Ridge unlimited playtime. I don't want to unlock unlimited playtime in the stream. In stream. Okay, there we go. Stopped. 
login. You guys can't see the login, right? Oh gosh. I'm just going to flash my password up for all of you to see. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Never. Um, give me one second. There we go. And password. Super secret squirrely password. There we go. And play. So now it's it's swirling, it's swirling, it's swirling, preparing the stream. Boom, there we go. I am now in VR. So it actually works. Now something else that I have to uh, had to download on this is called um, apps for uh, let's see Google apps on Oculus uh, VR gear. It's another application. I'll put the link in the description down below. Basically, it turns off the default functionality of your um, Oculus because when you first dock it in here, hold on, fade this over so you guys can see. When you first dock it into your uh, your Oculus, just like this, it normally goes into um, the actual Oculus Rift. Um, the next thing that I have is a Rock Candy. Xbox 360 USB controller. I can just plug this in. The Windows 10 will actually pick it up and it says, hey, that's an Xbox controller. No problem. We can use that. Um, VR gear. It likes it. And then um, Steam. It likes it as well. So once I've got all this hooked up, I can actually, I, I, I can finally go over to Steam itself and hit play in VR on Orbis VR. And... Away it goes. Give it just a second. And there we are. I'm in. I can see. Hello. <laughs> so here's the uh, the start of it. There's the company right there, Orbis. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm really excited, but the problem is, um, my RiftCat will only last for about 10 minutes because it's not the registered version. And the controllers don't work. So my San my um, <clears throat> VR gear hand controller, it will not sync correctly. It doesn't look correctly. It's at the wrong angles. That's one problem. The next is the Xbox controller. Hold on, I can't I can't even see here. Hold on, let's let's pull this off. There we go. Um, the Xbox controller does not work for the menus. I can't hit any buttons. So, that is a problem. I really want to record with this. I really want to, like, show you guys everything that there is to offer in the game. But it doesn't look like it's going to be an option. I am going to have to get, like, an actual VR headset. But, the guy doesn't. Okay, he turns. Is that me? That must be me. Anyhow. Looking around, look around. Very cool. So, huge, huge thank you to everybody that like has been involved with, in this, in me getting this to all work together. Um, if you need any help with it, Google is your friend. <laughs> um, you can ask me, and I can try to answer some questions for you. But for the most part, it's it really is luck. Um, that I was able to get all of these components to work together and that I could get get it to this point If this game accepted Xbox controls I'm pretty sure I could jump in here and start playing right away and It, it looks amazing. So I, I will be here soon Orbis. I promise I'm going I'm going to play this game eventually Thank you everyone for watching this episode of me explaining things <laughs> I hope it's been educational, it's been fun, it's been amazing, and uh, yeah, hopefully there's going to be a lot more Steam VR games on the way. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things that I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it doesn't really matter because it's really your choice in the end. I'm never going to pressure you to actually like go and sub. It's your choice. I love you guys. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.
Thank you.